looking back now, um, I, I can see moments where I would attend church and, and have um, a, a sense of like spiritual growth going, but um, I, I would deny it. Going into high school and in college, my brother um, challenged me a lot because Josh has always been uh, very strong in his faith um, for you know, much earlier in his life than I ever was. Interestingly enough, you know, moving to what is arguably like one of the most corrupt and sinful cities in the world, Washington DC is when I, when I came closest um, to, to uh, having a relationship with Christ and building that, which I think is pretty cool. I uh, began interning out there in January with uh, an organization um, that I share a lot of similar views with and um, began to build friendships and relationships with a lot of people that were very like-minded. And I saw a very close-knit community that existed amongst all of these people that all had a very common vision and um, purpose in life that they were pursuing. And that was, uh, that was something that I hadn't experienced before. Actually, it's, it's interesting uh, if I think about a, a particular time, like the moment, um, I was actually on the Metro in DC, but I was reading um, something uh, in mere Christianity. I just remember it, it literally feeling, um, and, and I don't know for sure, you know, you can, I guess you can never know, but it felt like there was a shift that occurred in my, in my logic, in my thought process. And um, at that moment, I, you know, sitting on the Metro, I asked Jesus Christ to enter my life, and I accepted him as my savior at that point in time. And I, you know, since then, everything is just, the way I've interacted with people has changed. The decisions I've made has changed. My name is Zach Martin and I'm getting baptized today because I believe Christ is the truth and I want to express in an outward way that He is my Savior and that I want to follow in His footsteps.